the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to share a OneNote notebook. Now OneNote 2016 is Microsoft's feature-rich digital note-taking application. And much like a paper notebook, you can organize text-based notes, images, tables, screen clippings, audio and video recordings, maps, and much more into sections and pages. And OneNote allows you to share note pages and notebooks through email, permissions, and links. And you can control how much access you give to recipients and decide if they can view or edit that content. Now, there are a few different ways that you can share notes in OneNote, so let's take a look at them. Now, one important point to note when it comes to sharing OneNote notebooks is that you can only share notebooks that have been stored in OneDrive. So if you have a locally saved notebook, you're going to need to move it into OneDrive prior to sharing it. Now, currently here, I have two notebooks. I have a business notebook and a personal one. My business notebook is stored in OneDrive, and you can see as I hover over there, the folder it's stored in. But my personal notebook is stored locally, just in my downloads folder. So if I want to share my personal notebook with anybody, I need to move this to OneDrive. So I'm going to open my personal notebook, jump up to file, and then go down to my share option. And what you'll see in here is it says to share this notebook, you'll need to put it in OneDrive or SharePoint. So I'm going to put this in OneDrive, which I have selected. I could also browse for it if I don't have it listed just here. I'm going to keep the notebook name on personal and I'm going to say move notebook. I've got a message saying that the notebook is now syncing to the new location, which is great. So let's click on OK. And now that I've done that, you'll see that I get all of my share options come up because I've now put it in a location where sharing is available. So let's go through each of these sharing options one by one. The first option I have here is to share with people. So what I can do here is I can invite people via email to share my notebook with them. So I'm going to type in So I've typed in the three email addresses of the people that I want to share with. And of course, if you have any contacts stored in your address book, you can select them from there as well. I can then choose what level of access I want to give them to this particular notebook. So do I want them to be able to edit or just view this notebook? In this case, I'm going to say they can edit. I can type in my personal message and then click on share. And as soon as I do that, you can see underneath where it says shared with, it's showing me all of the people that I've shared this notebook with. Now, maybe at some point I decide, actually, you know what? I don't want to share this notebook with Jen anymore. She's moved to a different team. She doesn't need access to this. So you can essentially revoke access as well. So all I need to do here is right click on Jen's name and I have two options, remove user or change her permission to can view. Now I'm going to remove her entirely. So let's select remove user and she's now disappeared and her access has now been revoked. The second option I have is to create a sharing link. So if you want to share your notebook with your entire team or wider organization, sometimes it's easier to copy and paste a link to the notebook into an email and maybe use a group distribution list that you've got in Outlook to send it out. And again, you can choose if you want to create a view link or an edit link. So if I want to create a link to this notebook that only people can view, I would click create a view link. I would then take this little link that it's created, control C to copy, and then control V to paste into an Outlook email and send out. You would do exactly the same for an edit link, control C, control V to paste and send out to an Outlook distribution list. The third option you have in here is to share your notebook with a meeting. So notebooks are great for taking notes during an online meeting, but sometimes it's quite hard for one person to keep up with all the information being exchanged. So you can share your notebook with others during an online meeting so that multiple people can help keep the notes up to date. So essentially, you're all collaborating on the same notebook and adding notes into it. So I'm going to click share with meeting. 
Now, I don't currently have any online meetings in progress, but if I did, they would be listed here and I can choose which meeting I want to share my notebook in. And what will happen is a link to the notebook is shared with everyone in the online meeting and the meeting details are added to the notes page. And then finally in here, we have the move notebook option, which we saw how to use before when we moved our personal notebook into OneDrive. So those are the options you have when it comes to sharing a notebook. Now, it's not necessary to always share the entire notebook. If you prefer, you can share a single page from the notebook only. So I'm going to jump to my business notebook and let's just say I want to share this page that's titled meetings. So make sure you're clicked on the page that you want to share. Go up to the home tab and you'll see you have an option here to email page keyboard shortcut control shift E. And what it does is it will open up an Outlook email. It's going to attach the contents of that page. Now, I don't have a great deal in mind, but it's just got the heading and the time and date stamp. I can then select who I want to share this with and send that email off. Now, one important thing to remember when you're sharing notebooks is that there could be multiple people accessing and editing a notebook at any given time. So due to this, it is important that your notebook is synchronized to ensure data is updated immediately. Now, synchronization is automatically turned on in OneNote as it's a key feature, but you do have the option to change this and sync manually if you prefer. So let's jump into the file tab and we want to be in the info area. And what you'll see over on the right hand side is you have a button here to view sync status. And this is going to show all of the notebooks that you have and whether they're synchronized and the last time they were updated. So as I said here, the option I have selected is to sync automatically whenever there are changes. So if I've shared this notebook with five other people and they're all in this notebook making changes, any changes they make are automatically synchronized so that I can see them. However, if you prefer to sync manually, you have this option as well. You can see as soon as I do that, it puts a cross over each of these notebooks just to let me know that they're not currently synchronizing and I can choose which one I want to sync. So I could say sync now, the icon's gonna change and any updates made since the last sync will be updated. And if you have a lot of notebooks in here to make this easier, you have a sync all button at the top as well. Now I'm actually gonna switch mine back to sync automatically. Another thing that you might want to do when sharing your notebooks is password protect sections of the notebook. So this prevents unauthorized access to maybe specific sections of your notebook that you don't want people to see. So all I need to do here is select which sections I want to protect. So it might be that I want people to be able to see everything that's in the meeting section, but not in the section project A. So all I need to do is right click and select password protect this section. I'm going to click set password. And now if I share this workbook, people aren't going to be able to see what's on this particular tab. And of course to unprotect, if I right click, go back into password protect this section, select remove password and type it in to remove that protection. So that is it. Those are all of the options that you have when it comes to sharing notebooks and note pages with other people. I hope you found that useful and I will see you in the next video. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.